What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all another video, man. <laughs> and today I'm gonna talk about, you know, today, um, Jeffrey Lurie is basically telling Howie Roseman and all the Eagles front office that we need to build around Jalen Hurts and make him successful, basically, instead of bringing in a quarterback to compete with him. Um, first off, everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos. Um, so feel free to DM me and whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come holler at you, boy, yo. Um, new name of my little segment, Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugar. We not snitching, we just throwing good passes. You know, football, basketball, baseball, um, dropping dimes with sports, man. Um, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. This is something that I've been saying for the longest, basically, since we let go of Carson Wentz. And since I've been hearing that, you know, we may take a quarterback with the sixth pick in the draft. Like, let's be, do we know that Jalen Hurts is the definite answer? We don't. But I feel like unless it's Trevor Sunshine Lawrence, like we might as well just roll with Hurts and see what he could do. But at the same time, put him in the best position possible. Get him, you know, a, a top tier receiver, you know, or tight end or whatever the case may be. Build the roster and then, you know, see where he goes, see how he grows with, with Sirianni and his coaching staff. Um, you don't want to be playing Russian roulette with quarterbacks. Every two years, we draft another one or something like that. And yet, we're not putting them in position to succeed. Um, the thing, the biggest thing with Carson Wentz, his second year, his MVP year, that offseason, you know, we, signed, we got Alshon Jeffrey, who at the time was the number one wide receiver free agent target. We brought in Torrey Smith, you know, a deep threat wide receiver. We brought in LeGarrette Blunt, a physical running back. We traded for Jay Ajayi, another physical running back with a little bit of burst with him. Um, you know, we, we had a bolstered up offensive line. Like, we did everything possible to make him successful, to put the pieces around him to where he could be at his very best. We failed Carson Wentz when it comes to that aspect the last couple of years when you consider, you know, getting got trading for guys that's 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 older guys that are injury prone, you know, like Deshaun Jackson and Mike Wireless, you know, and guys of that nature. Um, we did horrible in the draft, you know, missing on a guy like um, DK Metcalf and taking a guy like J.J. Ortega Whiteside instead. Missing on a guy like Justin Jefferson and taking Jalen Rager instead. Um, you know, we, you know, last year, though we were injured, you know, we didn't have great depth behind our starters, you know, on the offensive line. So these are things that your quarterback need, you know, to be successful. Now, granted, there's great quarterbacks out there that may not have much to work with and still win football games, but they're not winning no Super Bowl. The, the goal is to potentially win a Super Bowl. Um, and for us right now, Jalen Hurts is the guy. So what we got to do is get him as much weapons as we possibly can, you know, sure up. You know, add a little bit of depth behind this offensive line. Make sure the running game is on point. You know, these are things that we need to do to for this quarterback to be as successful as he could possibly be. So that's why I love the idea. Like, no, we don't need to draft some quarterback or nothing like that to compete. Let's let's build up this roster. Let's fill out this roster, and maybe who knows, Jalen Hurts could be like a little Russell Wilson you know, or something to that caliber. That's yet to be seen. Now, if he goes out there, we put the right pieces around him, and he goes out there and he's not very successful, or we don't walk away from the situation feeling like he is a franchise quarterback, you know, then you do your thing in the next year or two when we're going to have salary cap space, when we're going to have potentially an extra first-round pick, when the roster is going to be more set up and ready for your next quarterback to come in and have immediate success. So that's why I say, man, I love the fact that Jeffrey Lurie is basically saying, look, man, don't draft no quarterback high. Let's do everything that we possibly can, you know, to make sure that Jalen Hurts 
can be successful as the Philadelphia Eagles quarterback in 2021. We finally making a good decision on something when it comes to the front office, yo. I love it. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.